Welcome to GED Math in 30 Days. Uh, in our last lesson, uh, uh, I showed you how to find the slope uh, of a linear equation given in slope intercept form, which is y equal mx plus b. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to find the slope from standard form. Okay, so let me identify the differences. Okay, so first of all, you should recognize number one, y equal mx plus b. This is slope intercept form. Why is it called slope intercept form? Because you can easily tell what your slope and your intercept are. So again, your slope, let me change my color here to red. My slope is what's have in front of my x because m is my slope. My b is my y intercept. So for slope intercept form, whatever's in front of my x is my m. So my slope is 7 thirds. My y intercept is plus 5. So that's a quick review of how to find the slope and y intercept from slope intercept form. Okay. But today we will be covering how to find the slope from standard form. Okay. Well, what is standard form? Standard form has your linear equation has to look like this AX plus BY equals C. Very easy. Not hard at all. So my A is 5. My B is 3. My C is 24. So whatever's in front of your X is your A, whatever's in front of your um, Y is your B, and whatever's your constant on the other side of the equal sign is your C. Now, sometimes they will rearrange these. You must put them in standard form. So I've seen problems on the GD where they say minus 3Y plus 2X equals 6. No, that is not standard form. Standard form is AX, so 2X, Minus 3y equals 6. This is standard form. Okay, so be prepared to manipulate your equation to turn it into standard form. And watch this. I'm going to show you a nice, easy way to find the slope. Just change the sign of a and put it over b. So your slope is negative a over b. So change the sign of a, which is negative 5, and put it over b, 3. So my slope is negative 5 thirds. That easy. <laughs> I know you're sitting here and you probably was working on this for a while. It's that easy. So practice five or 10 of these and you should be fine. Again, so let's find the y-intercept now. So b is equal to c over b. Okay, so your slope was negative a over b. Your y-intercept is c over b. So my c is 24. My b is 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So my y-intercept is 8. So if I wanted to put this in slope-intercept form, it would be y equal minus 5 thirds x plus 8. OK, so that's how you find the slope in the y-intercept from standard form. Not hard at all, but I guarantee you, you'll have both of these questions on your exam. So you need to be able to find the slope from slope-intercept form and standard form. Let's do a couple more. Let's look at number four. Let me increase the zoom a little bit. Let's look at number four. Okay. Again, is it slope intercept form or is it standard form? Okay. So I recognize that it doesn't start with y equal, y equal mx plus b. So I, I, it doesn't look like that, but it does look like standard form. Ax plus by is equal to c. And this is a probably supposed to have probably supposed to have an equal there. So that's that's a mistake by the author, but or the publisher, but we're not worried about that. We're going to fix that mistake. So minus x plus 3y equal negative 6. So again, what is in front of that x? That's your a. Well, I don't see a number in front of me. If you do not see a coefficient in front of a variable, it is 1. So therefore my a is negative 1. My b is positive 3 and my C is negative six. Okay, to find the slope in standard form, you just change the sign of B, I mean, change the sign of A and put it over B. So instead of minus one, we're gonna have plus one and we're gonna put it over B, which is three. So our slope is one third. Very easy, our slope is one third. Again, change the sign of A, put it over B. That's your slope, that easy, okay? Now to find the Y-intercept, 
is C over B. Now notice these two Bs, I have two Bs in this equation, okay? The lowercase b is for your y-intercept. The uppercase b is for the coefficient in front of your y, okay? So c is negative six. Your b is positive three. Negative six over three is a negative two. So your y-intercept is negative two. If you had to change this to slope-intercept form, it'd be y equal, and we know slope-intercept form is y equal mx plus b. So instead of m, we're gonna put one third. So y equal one third x. Instead of b, we're gonna put minus two. That easy. That's how you find the slope and y intercept from standard form. And let's try one more. Actually, I'm gonna have you do one more and then I'm gonna go through it fairly quickly. So let's look at number five. So I'm gonna pause here for a second. I want you to take a, a 30 seconds to a minute and find the slope and the y intercept in standard form. Welcome back. Um, hopefully um, you finished that problem in less than one minute. So I'm going to just run through this problem fairly quickly. Again, this is standard form. So AX plus BY equals C. My A is negative six. My B is positive four. My C is negative 12. In order to find the slope, I want to take the opposite of A or change the sign of A and put it over B. So the opposite of minus six is plus six over B, which is four. I can reduce that to lowest terms. The greatest common factor is two. Two going to six, three times. Two going to four, two times. So my slope is three halves. To find my y-intercept, I'm gonna do C over B. C is negative 12. B is four. A negative and a positive make a negative. 12 divided by four is three. So my y-intercept is negative three. If I wanted to put this equation in slope-intercept form, y equal three halves x minus three. Very easy. That's my video for today. I hope this helped. Uh, and today we learned how to find the slope in the y-intercept from a standard form linear equation. Um, make sure you check out my website, passgdmath.com. Make sure you check out my, my flashcards on my website. I have a bunch of different articles on the site that should help you um, pass your GED math. Um, also, I have an incredible ebook that will show you how to solve the most difficult problems on a GED exam in less than one minute. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.